All right, this video is going to cover example one, part C, in our uh, mid segments section of chapter five. So let's take a look and see what we have given here. We have that x, y, and z are midpoints. So let's go ahead and mark that. So these are going to be congruent, and these are going to be congruent, and these pieces on the bottom are also going to be congruent. And we know the perimeter of triangle PRQ is 132 centimeters. So my big triangle, those three sides added up, is 132. We have that RQ is 55. So this is going to be 55 from here to here. And PZ is 20. So that's 20 from here to here. All right, so we want to find the perimeter of triangle XYZ. So let's go ahead and uh, see, find some other stuff here first. So I've got the ZR, that's also going to be 20. And then since uh, RQ is 55, RY and YQ are each going to be half of that. So 55 divided by 2, we've got 27.5. Five from here to here and here to here. Okay, now <clears throat> we know the perimeter of PRQ is going to be 132. And we also know that each of these sides of the triangle in the middle is half of one of the other sides of the triangle. So this horizontal piece is going to equal, be equal to one of these pieces on the bottom, half of PQ. And then XY is going to be 20. And XZ is going to be equal to 27 and a half. So if the large triangle has two of each of these little pieces and the small triangle only has one, then the perimeter of triangle XYZ is simply going to be half of the original triangle, which gives us 66 centimeters. Okay, if you have more questions about that, make sure that you ask. Uh, again, since the smaller triangle, each side is half of the original triangle, then the perimeter is also going to be half of the original. All right, and then PQ on the bottom. Since we know that the perimeter of PRQ is 132, so I have 132. If I subtract out the other two sides, so subtract out 40 for the 20 and the 20, and subtract out 55, that's going to leave us with 37, so PQ is 37 centimeters. Again, that's just the remainder of the perimeter because I already know two of the sides. And then for ZX, this side over here, it's going to be half of this side over here, which we calculated already, which is going to be 27.5 centimeters. Okay, um, I would recommend re-watching this video because there's a lot going on in there. And as usual, if you have any questions, uh, make sure you ask, and we'll see you next time.